Bucknell arrived in College Park winless on the year, but they played a perfect first half, which led to a 15-point lead. But the Terps battled back to edge out the Bison 80-78. Greg Amsinger and Dan Bonner called the action on BTN. We started the night talking about the Terrapins' trifecta, super sophomores, but it was the pair of freshmen that helped turn things around for Mark Turgeon. It really was, and I think the big reason they turned it around was the fact that they had so much energy, and I, I think that really, that was the key to the second half. Daryl Morsell, they made a change at halftime, and they put him on the point guard, Stephen Brown, and not only was he very disruptive defensively, but he scored 12 points in the second half, basically attacking the basket. Maryland did a great job of that, particularly in the second half, and Bruno Fernando, what a force he was inside. Nana Fowler, the defense player of the year in the Patriot League but Fernando used his big body and soft touch inside to really create some havoc he had 14 points he had seven rebounds he had three block shots he was a dominant force for the Terrapins and so when you get that kind of play on the perimeter to go along with that kind of play on the inside that's generally a pretty good formula and from fans that want to broad stroke this and go what's wrong with Maryland Bucknell's a pretty good team. Well, nothing wrong with Maryland. <laughs> Bucknell is an excellent team. As we said before the game, who did their schedule? Tom Izzo? That's it. You know, <laughs> right. they, they played consecutively on the road. They played Monmouth, the champions of the MAAC, Arkansas, North Carolina, and now Maryland. Four games in eight days. They came so close to pulling off the upset on the road against the Terps, but Maryland survives at home. 80-78, the final.